What if the storm ends and I don't see you? Hey guys, BJ here from BJ'sTechReviews.com. So today, I'm going to be making a video about my most recent blog post, 10 free must-have little-known Mac applications. So, I'm just going to run through the list and then give you the little extras at the end. Um, if you have any questions during the video, make sure to hit me up at contact at BJ'sTechReviews.com or you can hit me up in the comments below. So here we go. Okay, so the first app is Caffeine. Now, as I said in my blog post, this is a very tiny app, never gets in your way, but is amazing and it works wonders. So, if you look at my menu bar, you see I have a coffee cup that's not filled yet. If I click on it, it fills itself. Now, now the computer has that extra caffeine, and it won't go to sleep on me, it won't dim, and if I'm watching a movie, if I'm downloading something, it's really, really useful. Okay, so the next app is Google Notifier, and this app just basically tells me how many unread emails I have and how many events I have on my Google Calendar coming up. So if you take a look at my menu bar, the last item um, right here of all the icons is my Google Notifier. It tells me I have 255 unread emails, and if I click on it, it'll give me more info about my inbox. And it also tells me that I don't really use my calendar. But anyway, if I did use my calendar, it would tell me what I had. So very useful once again for those of you who have a Google account. Okay, so the third app is one of my favorites, and it's called You Control Tunes. Now, this basically lets me control iTunes from my menu bar. Now, if you take a look at my menu bar, there's the last track, play pause, next track buttons, along with the drop down menu that basically tells me everything I need to know without opening iTunes. Also, what this app does is, whenever the song changes, in right here in the left-hand corner, it gives me a little information widget that disappears after a couple of seconds, but it tells me everything I need to know. Album name, artist name, and it also gives me the album artwork. So, I think that's pretty useful and a great app overall. So, the fourth app is an app called Breakaway. Now this app gives your Mac a little iPod feel because whenever you unplug your headphones, it'll automatically pause your music. Now this can save you from a lot of embarrassment. I found it very useful in the past, and I hope you do too. Okay, so the fifth app is an app called VirtualBox, which I have opened up right here. Now this app lets you run a different machine with a different operating system on your computer, and you can choose how much RAM it uses and how much storage it has. Now, all you have to do is open it up. It gives you a default machine, but I don't I didn't really use it. I had to use my own software and install the machine. I actually deleted that because I wasn't using it anymore. But once you open up VirtualBox, it's real easy. All you have to do is click on new. You title the machine. It'll lead you through the steps. You have to insert your operating system software and that's basically it. It'll install it for you and then you can use it. Okay, so the sixth app is an app called Transmission. For all of you who like to torrent out there, this is widely regarded as the best torrenter for the Mac. Now, it's simple, easy to use, and once again, it doesn't get in your way. I hope you like it. So the seventh app is called Adium, and is widely considered to be the best instant messaging system on the Mac. You can connect as many accounts as you have, it has seamless integration with many kinds of accounts, and you can do it without having to connect to the internet. Also, this app, which I have open right here, although I'm not logged in, it does have great features and functionality, including emoji keyboards and stuff like that. I found it really nice to use. Okay, so the eighth app is one of my absolute favorites. It's called Fluid. Fluid lets you turn any URL into an app that you can actually use all day, every day, without having to use the internet itself. Now, basically, you can turn any URL, okay, let's try mail.google.com and name it Gmail, and you click create, and it'll turn it into app like this. This is one I created, and now if I log into my email, I can use my email and have it on my dock without having to log into Chrome or Safari or whatever you use. So, I think that's pretty neat, and you can make as many as you want totally free. Okay, so the ninth app is called Aurora, and I have it opened up right here. Now, this app does a couple of little things for you. One, you can set alarms for yourself to wake up to your iTunes music, or you can set multiple alarms if you like to wake up at different times on different days. You can also manage your iTunes playback from here, 
And finally, and the most important feature of all, you can set your computer to fall asleep after a certain amount of time, or at a certain time, or after iTunes or DVD player or QuickTime player has finished playing, which I think is amazingly useful. Okay, so the 10th app is called App Cleaner, and it does exactly what it says it will in its name. It cleans your apps. So if there's an unwanted app, all you have to do is drop it onto the App Cleaner window, and it'll delete the app itself and also those pesky hidden files that you can't delete yourself. Or you can manually scroll through the Applications, Widgets, and Others lists and delete the apps and files you don't like. It works like magic. Okay, so those are the 10 free must-have little-known Mac applications. Now, there's another app that's great, which I didn't put on the list because I myself don't really use it because it takes up a bit of your RAM. However, it's a great app and it turns your desktop into a 3D box. It's called Bumptop, B-U-M-P-T-O-P. Um, you might want to check that out. I'll put the links in the description for all the apps shown in this video. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out my blog, bjstechreviews.com. See you guys later.